Oh, good evening, brainwashed people. Our top stories include how we want you to believe Trump's impeachment was perfectly legal and that China deeply cares about Americans and why Biden's expansion of abortion is great for family planning. <laughs> Congress impeached Trump with no investigation, no evidence and no witnesses, yet they impeached him. But what did he actually say? But I think right here, we're gonna walk down to the Capitol. And we're gonna cheer on our brave senators and congressmen and women. And we're probably not gonna be cheering so much for some of them. Wow, the violence, the death, the destruction Trump incited towards the Capitol and members of Congress is so overwhelmingly convincing. Nah, I guess not. Hey, but that doesn't matter because the orange man is guilty. Guilty, I say, because he's against babies being murdered in the womb. And he thinks America should come first. What a ridiculous idea in a world of globalization. Trump's also guilty because he wanted to build a strong military to deter enemies like Russia and Iran. And he was in favor of a border wall to protect America from a flood of illegal immigrants and drugs. I mean, doesn't he know that COVID restrictions have left people feeling depressed and in need of drugs? But worst of all, he doesn't want men using women's bathrooms. The audacity of Trump. No man or woman, for that matter, should have any problem with that, right? Wow, this is the nicest one yet. Eh, what are the odds she's gonna show up? <clears throat> Did you get your ass kicked by Meryl Streep? No, it was just some low-class cockney woman from the mid-1800s. The reality is, you must believe everything that we, the media, tell you. Especially non-corrupt and power-hungry politicians like Nancy Pelosi and Chuck Schumer, because they know what's best for America. Senators will have to decide if they believe Donald John, Donald John Trump incited the erection, <laughs> insurrection against the United States. Now, if Chuck Schumer said that Donald Trump incited the erection, then it must be true, right? Or did Schumer display a Freudian slip that betrayed his phallic mind? Well, in any case, whose erection was he talking about? Was it Trump's or his? News just in that apparently Schumer has a long-standing problem in that area. So he should be thanking Trump. <clears throat> but let's not go into that. Instead, let's move on to Pelosi, who had an interesting week after breaking one of her own rules. Speaker Nancy Pelosi in hot water for breaking one of her own rules, accused of skating around the new metal detectors outside the House chamber. The rule imposes a fine on those who break it, and a group of Republican lawmakers say Pelosi should have to pay it too. Now, rumor has it that she avoided the metal detector because of all the flasks of alcohol she had hidden all over her body. Now, I know she once said that no one is above the law, but did you seriously think that she was talking about herself? Of course not, because she's better than everyone else. Besides, she can't be fine because the rules contain an exemption for mentally infirmed elderly people, okay? But if you still think that political elites should be treated the same as all those little people, then you are a hater and you should be locked up like all those dissidents of the Communist Party of China. Now, getting back to Trump's impeachment, here's Pelosi in action on the House floor, rounding up all the little sheep in Congress with one stroke of her gavel. Article one is adopted. The question. Don't mess with me. Impeach him. She'll cut your head off and you won't even know you're bleeding. The question is on adoption of Article 2. The question is 
On the adoption of Article 2, those in favour say, hey! Hmm. Now in regard to the Senate impeachment trial, it doesn't matter that Article 2, Section 4 of the Constitution only applies to the removal of a president who is in office, not one who's already left. But hey, why should anyone care about the Constitution, right? It's only the founding basis and supreme law of the United States that defines our freedoms and framework for government. But enough of that. Instead, let's focus on weightier matters, like the amazing executive orders Biden has signed. And one of Biden's executive orders cancelled a Trump Nazi-style ban on communist China's involvement in America's power grid. And why? Because preserving China's interests is much more important than the interests of Americans. Why should we discriminate against the Chinese government when they are flooding the US drug market with fentanyl? A drug that's up to 100 times more powerful than heroin. <clears throat> Alex, can you, can you get me some? Or hacking into computers to steal your intelligence hijack networks and plant malware to spy on you and steal your data. Then there's the Chinese government's deliberate manipulation of their own currency, which is helping them win a trade war with America, causing the loss of one million American jobs and money to be poured into China. Not that any of that matters, but let's also not forget how yours truly brought you the China virus with over two million deaths worldwide and endless lockdowns that are good for you. And finally, the Chinese Communist Party wants to dominate the world with greater ownership, control and censorship over entire populations. Now that's a good thing, right? Because freedom is bad for you. And let's toast to that. Freedom, I mean, personally, I think it's overrated and we shouldn't even have it in the first place. You wouldn't give a loaded gun to a three-year-old because that wouldn't be in their best interests, right? So you shouldn't give freedom to the people either. Americans who want freedom are like spoilt little babies who should be disciplined. I say move them all to China or North Korea so they can get a taste of what life will be like under Biden, who loves the Chinese. And I'm not talking about Chinese takeaway food. The Biden plan will protect China. Banning all travel will not stop it. Joe Biden has defended China for four decades. What a beautiful history we wrote together. To stop China, you have to stop Joe Biden. And just to remind you of what a coherent and confident communicator President Joe Biden is. Uh, uh, the second uh, order I'm going to be signing also changes what the president has done, the, the president, what the former president uh, has done and it, uh, a memorandum reversed the, my predecessor's attack on women's health, <laughs> me, health access and uh, as we continue to battle COVID-19. So what other executive orders did Biden sign? Well, he reversed the Trump rule that blocked federal funding of abortion as a family planning method. Because killing babies in the womb is a great way to plan a family, right? I mean, how else do you deal with a problem of a child you don't want or can't afford or just gets in the way of your career? I know you could choose to be a loving parent to the child. Nah, that's just too selfless and revolutionary. Or you could choose adoption with a friend or family member or go through an adoption agency and who have many people who can't have their own kids and who would love to adopt your child. But forget all of that. Instead, let's go to an abortion clinic and have the baby sucked up through a tiny little tube or torn to pieces from limb to limb and thrown away into the garbage truck. Better still, let the abortion clinic sell the baby body parts to make money and help fund more abortions all around the world to support family planning. So you see, Biden's policies are really contributing to society in a meaningful way. Now, although he says he's a devout Catholic, I wonder why he's not following the Bible. The Bible tells us not to murder. It also says God sees us in the womb and has our destinies planned before we're even born. 
And it also says children are a gift from the Lord and the fruit of the womb is his reward. Not to mention that God hates the shedding of innocent blood, right? And you can't get more innocent than an unborn baby. Forget all that because politicians get to decide what's right and wrong, not God. After all, he only created the universe and all living things, so what would he know? But seriously, if you don't believe politicians know better than God, then it's time to turn away from everything God hates and start following the Bible and not just claim you are a Christian when you're not. Jesus said, if you continue in my word, you are truly my disciples. So the proof of being a Christian is practicing the word of God, not claiming you're a Catholic or a Protestant, but it all starts by turning away from sin and accepting Jesus Christ into your heart as your personal Lord and Savior. Now, will you do that today? If that's you, repeat the following prayer from your heart. Say this, Lord Jesus, I turn away from everything that's wrong in my life and I believe you died for my sins and rose from the dead to give me new life. I choose to follow you as my Lord and my Savior from this day forth. Amen. Now, if you pray that prayer, I want to welcome you into the family of God and send you a free gift. Write to me at drjames at icloud.com. What Studios is now open. Audio and video production services at affordable prices. Check us out at www.watchstudios.org for more details. <laughs>